Hello and welcome interested character, I am Maximus Overdrive, and this is the sixth unboxing of the second wave of the Commonwealth Collection. If this is your first time watching, first of all, where have you been? Second, you can get up to speed by watching these videos. I have no idea how the YouTube algorithm treats this series, but at least I can direct you towards the videos it should have recommended. I cannot imagine just stumbling across a series like this without any context, but hey, at least they thought you'd be interested, right? Enough with the tangents, the contents of whatever merged from this box will be making their way to my eBay and Amazon shops this Saturday, August 12th at 8.30am Eastern Standard Time. We'll quickly take a look at each item one by one, and I'll elaborate when appropriate. Anyways, let's cut to me actually opening this thing. Alright, and just like magic, the box is open. I mean, it's not like it wasn't already open during the introduction, but... No, 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 wait, you saw nothing, okay? It was closed during the introduction. What just happened? I, I just cut it open and, you know, we're gonna unbox things now, right? Totally not recorded at an earlier date just so I can cut it in later for production value and to live up to the unboxing name. Oh yeah, see? Fresh. This is the first time I'm seeing it, okay? Trust me. Plastic bag. You have no use for these, right? And allow us to begin where we sort of finished off last time. Here is an 8-inch Yoda. Just a normal Tesco Yoda, nothing special about this one. Here is an Angry Birds Star Wars 2 Snowtrooper pig, basically identical to the one we unboxed previously, but this one has an Angry Birds Star Wars 2 hang tag. Interestingly, it's not the smaller 2.5 inch one, this is the full 3.5 inch one that you'd see on the 8 inch ones. So, there you go, Snowtrooper pig. Second shot at him. Here is another 8 inch Star Wars Tesco plush, this time it is a Stormtrooper. The way you can tell is the flat eyes and the Pretty much flat ears, which don't have any embroidery on them, just prints, and the lack of detail for his mouth print. And you can compare that one with the regular Stormtrooper pig. Though I say regular, this is actually a good stuff toy. Still better than Tesco, not that that's a high bar. Here are three more Angry Bird character flags, and we'll have to find some ingenious way of using these, because these are number 6, 7, and 8 that we've seen so far. Unless there's just that many people who want an Angry Bird character flag, which by all means, they're not priced very high. Here is a six and a half inch, it looks like, Good Stuff Toys Han Solo. A lot of Star Wars so far, I think we need to mix things up a bit. Here is a Angry Birds Christmas stocking, conventional plush head version with bomb at the top. This one still has the tissue paper as well, so very minty. You know, funny thing about those Christmas stockings, the US ones face right and the Finnish ones face left. I don't know why they did that, but take that information for what you will, I guess. Here is a Good Stuff Toys 5-inch Luke Skywalker, of course new with tags. I don't know if it's customary for certain countries to have their Christmas stockings face a certain direction, but I guess you can differentiate them now. Here is a second generation Matilda, new in bag, this is the second one today. Here is our third Star Wars Tesco plush of today, and believe me, this time it is a Princess Leia. So obviously the production version did not have matte fur, this one does. And her robe, I mean they're lucky if that's two pieces, it's probably one. And her tail, once again, pretty much two-dimensional. So I know my friends over in Europe hate seeing these flood eBay all the time, but it's not so much of a problem over here in the States because obviously we don't have Tesco, and these are pretty rare over here. For those of you who do shop at Tesco, please let me know about your experience in the comments below. I'm just curious. Here's a six and a half inch Good Stuff Toys Princess Leia. So a little bit more like regular retail on this one. Still pretty cheap if I'm being honest. I know, I know, there's a lot of Star Wars so far and it continues, but at least let's go with a sample. Here's an Angry Birds Star Wars Wave 3 Greedo plush. So we saw an 8 inch one previously, this one happens to be a 5 inch, and he's also new with tags. So I guess he appeared in a brief cutscene in Star Wars 1, so that automatically qualifies him for a plush. It just feels like to me, there were other characters who were more deserving, namely the Blue Squadron. And I think the Star Wars 2 version looks a little bit nicer in this one. Not that this one's bad or anything. Now here is one of the fan favorites from the Accessorized Pig set, and it completes our little Accessorized set that we've been building. Here is the Chef Pig plush. This one, new with tags. So that's about as nice as you're gonna get from a chef. Obviously one of the most desirable plushies from the Commonwealth collection. So much so that Commonwealth actually put it back into production behind Rovio's back to sell in their Amazon shop, Sallow Toys. Though, in all honesty, I think that version is a little bit better. I prefer the fluffy fur, but I guess it's personal preference. If you buy this thing, 
please fluff the hat a little bit. It's a little droopy at the moment. Even more Star Wars, here is a 5 inch Darth Vader from Good Stuff Toys. Now here is a very fascinating trio. Let me just find them all real quick. They're all in here as far as I can see. So these are the Angry Bird coin purses. So we have Red, we got Bomb, and we have the Minion Pig. So these were the marketable trio at the time, I guess. So these are very similar to the fanny packs, where they have an embroidered zipper on the back. And what do you find? Mm, nothing much. These have second generation tags. Show you that on Bomb. And a tush tag to match as well. Here's red, so they use the plush faces and they have a little handle up top. These would be quite the accessory to rock as you're walking down 5th Ave. Here is one of those bingo sheet plushies. It is a 4 inch mini, first generation red. New with tags as well. I swear you could probably take this moment from any unboxing that I've done. And we have our third new in bag, Matilda. I'm sensing a theme here. Here is an Angry Bird Star Wars 2 General Grievous plush. So this is the 5 inch variation. We saw the 8 inch one previously. There's no side tag on to speak of, but he does have a touch tag around back. And that shouldn't take away from how special the plush is, right? These Star Wars 2 plushies, it's such a crime they didn't go into production. They all look fantastic. And I do kind of wish he was holding four lightsabers, but I guess they didn't do it for Darth Maul either. And it maybe would look kind of weird with just four handles because they probably wouldn't have given him extended blades. Though, might have been worth it on this guy. That's kind of a shtick. Right in the back corner here, we have our first Angry Birds Go sample today. It is a 5 inch chuck. New with tags as well. So welcome to Wave 2, my friend. So it's pretty much identical to the one we unboxed in Wave 1, so I suppose it's never a bad thing to give people a second crack at it, right? Let's just get all the ceramic Christmas ornaments out of the way because, one, you can't really see them, and two, well, just go look on the eBay shop if you do want to see them. Here's one, there's two, and there's three. And just as last week, we have an Angry Birds Space Novelty hat. This time it is Fire Bomb. So, let me go ahead and do my obligatory demonstration. Make sure this thing is on pretty good. Allow me to crouch down so you can see it. So, he's got the three-dimensional beak, the embroidered eyes, the embroidered golden egg droid. He's even got the cape going all around, and the flame atop. How about that? That's pretty neat, I gotta tell you. <laughs> do like me a good novelty hat. And check out his tag. So it says Space Black AB Hat with Cape. So dated 3-16-2012, just like Chuck, so I'm assuming they're from the same round of samples. Interesting that it specifies that he has a cape. I'm wondering if there's a variation that doesn't have that. So, Space Bomb Novelty Hat. Here's a plush from a set we haven't seen too much of. It is a 6-inch United States variation of Winter Matilda. She, of course, has the golden egg hang tag, which could have and should have been used on more sets. Here is an Angry Birds Space Backpack Clip, it is Icebird. This is actually more uncommon than you would think. Carded Backpack Clip collectors will know exactly what I'm talking about. Here is a Good Stuff Toys Darth Vader, 5 inch, again. Here is perhaps the most interesting Christmas stock in that Commonwealth ever made, an item that I've only seen one at the time. This is an animatronic Christmas stocking. Pretty reminiscent of the Kurt S. Adler one, but it has many differences that... Let's just go over it, shall we? He has a mistletoe on his hat, a different loop by which you can hang him. The plush hat clearly uses a different pattern. He has this green scarf going all around, similar to the winter red. So he has a different pig on his boot. It's a pig with a sack of presents, I guess. And he also has this reddish pink border rope also going around the boot. And so underneath his scarf here, he's hiding a press here button. Now, unfortunately, this thing does not work. Otherwise, his beak would be opening and he would be saying the phrases from a regular Commonwealth plush. Now, I will direct you to Angry Bird Plush Museum's video where he actually showcases a functioning one of these. And by some miracle, if I can get this thing to function, I may just end up keeping it because I'm actually really fond of it. Why don't you look at that? We have our second winter plush of today's unboxing. It is a six inch United States variation of the Earmuff Pig. Maybe by the time we've unboxed everything, we'll have a full set. This one doesn't have a tag though. I think everything else in here is 8 inch related besides this assortment of three dimensional backpacks. 
I think these are some of the rarer ones, so check them out. This is an underrated merchandise line, in my opinion. These are all 4th gen. We have a redesigned blue three-dimensional backpack. So obviously these will just have the plush faces, the uh, little metal zipper. These all still have the tissue paper inside as well, so they are completely mint. There's blue. Move on. Here is Stella. I think this one is either the rarest or amongst the rarest. Once again, the plush face, the side eye expression. She even has her head feathers up here. Good little detail. Down there. And I think we have two bombs in here. They're gonna be identical. So, this wick up top as well. Embroidered plush face, super nice. Here is our fourth Star Wars Tesco plush of today, and perhaps the most infamous one. This is Luke Skywalker, obviously. He has the matte fur, the matte hair, pretty much two-dimensional tail feathers. The belt doesn't go all the way around. And the biggest sin, at least to me, is his lightsaber. I mean, how is he supposed to fight with that? It's barely 3D. Here is a nine-inch size development sample of Chuck, very similar to some of the other ones we looked at previously. We are getting very close to completing a full 9-inch flock. Hopefully we can get some of the pigs in there soon. Here is a Wreck the Winter Wonder M. Halls variation of the Santa Matilda. You can tell based on the side tag, which uses art from both Wreck the Halls and Winter Wonder M. I mean, it's not like the art doesn't work, it's just, I don't know what to call it now. You know, I just mentioned the size development sample pigs, and, well, looky here, we have one of them. Well, this one's actually a 10-inch, so we're working on two different sets here, but at least we're getting warmer. This one actually uses the higher quality crown from the 12 inch king pig, interestingly. So that's neat. All right, here's our nine inch development sample pig. This one is a fantastic toy sample, so it's probably not from the same sample run, but it's the same size, so I'll take it. Here is our second Angry Birds Go Chuck. This one, of course, is an eight inch, but he is identical in spec to the five inch because he is new with tags. Now, I gotta wonder, how the heck did Chuck fit inside this helmet? I mean, the gap's only that big, right? There's no way he's squeezing his triangular body into there. Unless I just don't understand the concept of Angry Birds physics, but I do have the National Geographic book, so I think I know a thing or two. Here is an Angry Birds Star Wars Wave 1 Chewbacca. This one is new with tags. I'm pretty sure we've had our fair share of these. Here is an Angry Birds Star Wars Wave 2 C-3PO. Now this one is also a Tesco variation, so add to the pile. This one didn't get as many downgrades as some of the others, but you can still tell. The devil is in the details. Here is our first 8-inch Amy Birds Go King Pig. Now this one unfortunately looks like it lost its side tag at some point because the plastic bit is still there. But otherwise, it still looks as beautiful as always. I mean, gosh, that is just a stunning plush. It's absolutely perfect. If only the ghost set made it to production, right? They all would look like this. But what are you going to do, right? I mean, you're going to go tell consumers in 2014, hey, go buy more Angry Birds, right? And the last plush of today's unboxing is this rather infamous 8-inch plush from the Hogs and Kisses set. It is Cupid Pig. It is such a shame that most retail assortments left this guy out because he has a fantastic plush. Definitely the most unique in the set, right? Besides the two packs, I guess. But anyways, that'll do it for today's unboxing. If you have any comments, questions, or complaints, you can let me know in the comment section below. With that I say, peace out.